Did you sleep? <laughs> nope, I can't sleep. What did you watch? The Prestige. Oh yeah. That's, That's a really good, good movie. That Love was really that good, one. yeah. Flight was okay, I slept through most of it. I tried a lot of different sleeping positions. But I stuck with this one. Lena, this is all your stuff? Yeah. It's a unisex name, Lena. I know tons of boys named Lena. What's ours? Yeah. 12 to 3, TIP, 3 to 5, Riot, 5 to Forever, Team Liquid, and then. 3 to 5, <laughs> Riot? Yeah. What do we do? You have uh, features. <laughs> but no, no actual <laughs> talking. That's your. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> features without <laughs> talking. Yeah, it's just yeah, your. your shots. Oh, oh. You guys. Number one. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hey. hey. Oh yeah, this is like juicy, yeah, oh, five, five, five. Yeah. Korea. This is juicy. You know what this reminds me of? No. Nothing. This reminds anyone else of MSI? Oh, it does. <laughs> Guys, this is some good memory. In black out. Let's get on. Let's get on, boys. Wow, guys, it's just like back then. Hey, we just got to Madison Square Garden, um, and we're in our green room, and we're gonna set up for. We're gonna practice for MSI. We're here in we're MSI, here MSI at MSI in Tallahassee. Yeah, Bjergsen, Bjergsen really liked MSI. And he's These hoping for a he's hoping for a repeat <laughs> performance. <laughs> Wait, that's so big. Can you see it? Where's our Augustine? Huh? Where's our Augustine? Wait, this is actually really comfortable. Even though it doesn't look as nice, it feels so much more comfortable. Actually, try it on. It actually feels really comfortable. Well, you have a long sleeve, that's why you can't you can't tell if it's comfortable or not. If you wear a t-shirt, it feels so much more comfortable. It feels really comfortable, huh? I have a shirt on it. No, I have like a colored shirt. Oh, a picture of it? What? A picture of it? Wow. So what, there's like smoke pouring out of it or flames? I think there's some flames, but they can just put it up. Oh my god, this so is so they, so they nice. Oh, you look like you were actually can't After that, because of you, they were like, oh my god, these kids really can't cook anything. We gotta help them. What's your favorite story about one of your kids? It's actually comfortable though, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna take some OG players right now. I'm gonna get a pull belt jerk. This is actually really comfortable. The jackets aren't as comfortable as this, for sure. It does look kind of chubby, but it's fun. You need the extra weight. <laughs> oh, I'm so fair now. Oh, I feel so fair now. It's so skinny everywhere else. It can't. It doesn't fit. Dude, I'm way. I drank way too much coffee today. Something is wrong with me. I feel like New York coffee has like double the caffeine. I'm like. Oh. Look. 
coming. It's where I play Yasu, Jumbo. It's me, Park Nadu. Is this a medium or a small? These are ideal for cold scenarios. It's cold on stage. We're gonna need this. Actually, Germany's gonna be pretty cold, huh? We're gonna need Is stuff. Is Europe like gonna be cold? It's medium? Yeah. In October? I can probably use yeah. small. <laughs> October, no. October. Why do you buy them a medium? Because when we wear the other jackets, I wear like three shirts yeah, yeah. when it's so cold. What is that? Those bigger. those jackets are just really small for this size. Because huh? small one goes like here. Oh, those sure. ones are your Oh, I use American small. Give it to me hard. No space. No space. No space. <laughs> yeah, it's in no space. No, no space. <laughs> It looks so much better with small. Yeah. It looks a lot so better. better. Turtle actually looks good in it. Turtle actually looks good in it. Turtle got the right size. You got the right size. You look like an idiot. Maybe we should get, maybe we should get, you know, maybe we should get one size down for everyone. Yeah, you should get one size down. But there's no extra small. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, right. There's no extra small. Just give me a small, so I'm fucking dead. Okay. Look, it's like a dress up. It actually looks a lot better on Turtle than yeah, everyone else. <laughs> Darius needs a different there, size. Darius is way too big for him. Soren Bjergsen Bjerg. That's even worse, actually. Uh, if the hoodie covers Soren, there's like Bjergsen Bjerg. Yeah. Bjergsen Bjerg. Just do this. Just do this. Soren Bjerg Bjerg. What if I wear it like that? Um, it's like half, half old uniform, half new uniform. <laughs> You're happy. That looks I'm so half bad. half. Take, take me in, take me in. I do whatever I want. I do whatever I want. I look like a sheep. <laughs> yeah, you're so dumb. <laughs> look at my bra. You guys are so dumb. You guys are so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> you can have a little kangaroo in here. <laughs> they always troll me. Oh no, it falls down if you don't. This is my pocket. It actually jump like a kangaroo. Oh, jump like a kangaroo, turtle. Look at my pocket. Don't jump like a kangaroo. Look at my pocket. Oh, you know you actually have a. Oh no, it doesn't work. You know you actually have a pocket right here. Yeah, it's like a kangaroo. <laughs> but that's not like. It makes sense. You guys are so. Oh, right, there's a pocket. There's a pocket right there. It's really important we don't get an early lead because CLG's really good at coming back. How the fuck are we gonna find men that actually are pretty good at coming back? Hey guys, dinner's ready. Hello. Oh. All right, skill level. Priorities. I'm gonna eat a Twizzler now. You know I can put this whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> oh, this is the important stuff. Here we go. Yo, what is that? Oh, New York strip steak. Are you kidding? What did you bet? Hundred dollars. You can't eat all that. There's no <laughs> universe. Why don't you think you can? Look at him. What the hell, man? <laughs> so I'm just gonna be me, hella, dude. Chill. So I got, I got 110 on all this food. Beer's not one of them. Mm -hmm. not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> 25. <laughs> you know what you're getting into, Parthenon? Why are you raising it? Marty yeah. halfway through the plate. <laughs> I have 125 bucks on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's actually true. Who put money in? Dyer's 100, part 25. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, see, all that in the cake, too. Is that worth it? The they don't know cry. what they're getting into, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Go Will you make it? I'm great, dude. <laughs> I was like, I'll just a little hard to eat. Honestly, this is probably the best. Are you getting a little full? <laughs> Beard versus food. This is an old <laughs> ritual that makes you able to eat one. <laughs> I want to see fat beer soon. Like 300 pound beer soon. It's gave me two years. Not much. It's still really, really sweet. It's officially flavored. That, this is the easiest part, dude. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. And then the chicken. Three low. <laughs> He's gonna do the cake next. <laughs> <laughs> he has to get the chicken. That's the hottest part. That's like the final boss. 
I, I don't think I saw a chicken actually. This is the final one. I eat the chicken when I was hungry. Yeah, I know. I was looking at it. I was like, I'm not gonna eat that. Nah, <laughs> why, why eat chicken you when you could get steak? Exactly. <laughs> I'll take the extra steak. Mm -hmm. How confident? 110%. Oh, really? Yeah. Alright, 40 bucks. <laughs> what the fuck? This man is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> How confident are you he will actually. I'm sad. I'm gonna lose 40 bucks and he's gonna die. It's <laughs> worth <laughs> anywhere. I'll take it anyway. Yeah, will like go to the bathroom and be there for like an hour. Chewing those mashed potatoes. It's a fucking. He's like. He's like. Oh. You didn't eat anything while I was gone. <laughs> 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 he didn't eat anything. I finished the steak. Eight ounces of chicken and an entire piece of carrot cake. Dude, yeah, he's like chewing you so want much. Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got 140. Yeah. 20 bucks. Holy <laughs> 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 moly! He's at 160 now. Yeah. 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 Woo! Throwing money away. Should type you. It's on the table, man. There's a couple. It's just 20 bucks. I'm gonna double it. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose, I'll double it. Look, look how he brought. It's what are you guys doing? Derrickson has, has $160, but he can't finish all his food. Well, how much food? With, with yeah, it whiskey. Like it was like, it was like, was uh, Dude, you guys are dumb. What if you get sick for Sunday? I'm Why fine. would you guys bet him? Why would I get sick from eating? You get sick from <laughs> overeating all the time. Stop eating. <laughs> this is dumb. I'm not even eating. This is why I get mad at you guys. Yeah, you guys are about to play in the biggest tournament of your lives, and you're betting your teammate for a hundred dollars when the price was a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> for a hundred dollars, <laughs> hundred sixty. All right, I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> I thought you were like some of the hobby. I know, I thought we all thought all right. it would be fun. I said I can't stop and I'll jump again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so dumb when you already started. Oh, uh, no 20 bucks. <laughs> should I stop him, Logo? I'm not sure if I should or not. Oh. Wait, is that, is, what, what is this? Who there's, bet all this money? There's 180 no, in the pool. 180 Why? in the pool. Why? Darius 100, Pav. 40 and then you're gonna match. Running. You're gonna match, right? No. You can't finish. Yeah, it. he has to. I have been enjoy. <laughs> I'll match, dude. I'll match. Wait, he's he is gonna finish it though. Yeah, no, yeah. He is. I still have the cake. That's it. Yeah. Pardon, you just lost a hundred bucks. No, Darius lost a hundred bucks. Oh, it's okay. Darius can lose a hundred bucks. We're gonna win as in the CLG anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hundred bucks. Oh, how much? much? How much did you eat from the start? Steak, he, rice. He ate a whole steak. Or is it one or two? Nah, dude, it wasn't the bad. You're gonna just throw it away. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you're feeling it. He's like, no. Oh my god, you're bloated right now. <laughs> I don't know, he seems pretty flat. I feel like he can finish it. I'm gonna he's save gonna money. Throw up. Is that the last piece? No, there's still onions on the plate. Yeah, there's still onions on the plate. Fucking cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you see those crumbs? <laughs> yes, you can. I'm tilting! <laughs> he's all of it. Oh my god. All the potatoes. Okay, that's fine. That's honestly fine. Wow, he won. Yeah, he Who lost a hundred dollars? I only lost twenty one dollars, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't think Darius cares about a hundred dollars that much. Last moment. Actually, if I was in Burgeon Shoes, I would pay a hundred dollars to not be that full. <laughs> Just a second. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna throw up right now. <laughs> Turtle, last piece of cake. He actually doesn't even look that full. Cool. Oh, he does. Mm. He does look pretty cool. Here's your money. Hey, take your money. We're not counting the chimps, so. Huh? You gotta finish chewing it. You gotta finish chewing it. He looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, <'cause laughs> his shirt's like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big boy now. This was the day I went from a boy to a man. <laughs> oh my god, my team. Alright, shit. Well played. You got me. Alright, alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna swallow it. <laughs> Are you surprised? No. Not really. Surprise me. Okay. He probably feels like shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Alright, so... 
Just put on your hoodies and just walk to the hotels. Everyone put on your so hoodies. So you don't get tired. Everyone put on your hoodies. Be like the gangster squad. Be like, hey, we gotta go. The gang squad. Gangster squad. Are you serious? Wait, they're gonna spot us anyway. No, it's fine. Right. I look like any other white boy. Yeah, Wait, I'm wearing my badge. Take off your badge. Take off your badge. Put it on, put it on, put it on. It's working. It's not working at all. Good luck tomorrow, boys. Take it easy. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be here. It's lying. Too worried about quality of scrims when we should be like playing every scrim cleanly. Like, yeah. we should be playing every scrim cleanly in NA in the first place. Like whenever we start winning, we always fucking. Whenever we start winning, we always uh, get hella complacent. Like, right, well, so <laughs> I'll tell you how it is for scrims. For scrims, the week we get there, we can start playing CJ like the day after we'll we get there. CJ right now. What? I thought they just got shit yeah, on. They just well, CJ, CJ is in the gauntlet, so they're going to be playing for sure. So the week we get there, we can play CJ. The week after gauntlet, we can play Koo. Um, the week we get there, we can also... I, I asked Janair and Najin, they should have no reason to say no. And then SKT said they'll play us after finals. Okay. So it all comes down to... When's finals in gauntlet? Well, gauntlet we don't know and anyone is trying. Gauntlet well, ends on the 5th, trip. and I think finals what? is like late August. You know, Get us to the scrims. So I all top four Chinese team, EDG, IG, QG, LGD, all have Korean coaches. LGD all, the LGD will scrim us whether we're in Korea and China, but if you go to Korea, their ping is probably gonna be bad. Right. I asked IG and QG to the Korean coaches, they haven't replied yet because the time difference and EDG I asked Aaron, he still hasn't replied yet. I'll know tomorrow. The hotel is nice and all, but in the end we're not there to be comfortable, we're there to get better. Dude, being comfortable directly correlates with how you play. If, no, if we can scrim the Chinese teams, I think China's better, but... Yeah, yeah if we can scrim the top four Chinese teams, I think it's better. I think we can scrim the top four Chinese teams. I'd be down for scrim oh, the top also four Also, Korea, if you go to Korea, um, we'll get to scrim uh, Fnatic. And we'll get to eat curry. Yeah. Wait, can we Fnatic? Which Fnatic stick? Huh? Fnatic stick? Fnatic would be pretty good too. Yeah, they're gonna be away. They're staying in Korea. We should probably, I don't know. Decisions. Oh. Decisions, decisions now, dude. Oh, oh you right. said we didn't even Decisions. Decisions. Fanatic's good, though. So it's Korea, like, we'll get good amount of scrims, like, regardless of whatever happens. Even if we shit the bed, like, we'll get good scrims. Like, we'll get better scrims than NA, like, no matter what. And depending on how well we do, like, we can scrim top, we can constantly scrim top tier teams. Korean solo queue is probably better than Chinese yeah, solo And also, yeah, with, yeah. with China, like, like Korean solo with China, the only team we'll scrim 100% is LGD. I don't know about yeah, other teams. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Korean Solo Q is better. Yeah, Korean Solo is like way better than China Solo is fucking branded. Yeah. <laughs> it's what? That's like a big thing too. The Solo Q in Korea. The Chinese players play on on Korean server. Yeah, yeah. Every, so every Chinese player plays on the Korean server anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You guys just want to go to Korea? Probably. What's the price? I want to scream Fnatic and play the Korean Solo Q yeah, more so. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you guys are hundred percent want to go to Korea then? I think so. Now, yeah. yeah. Cause yeah. like Fnatic and Korean Solo Q is pretty good. Yeah. All right. And we get to play SKT too. Yeah. And SKT. So there will be no regrets. No regrets. I don't think so. What's the price? Yeah. 
TIP! Uh, last point? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, CB, you're gonna clear them like you're gonna. Uh, they're gonna. They're listening for, ladies and gentlemen, your finalists. Do you know what that line is specifically? Uh, give it up one more time in your uh, finals. All right, guys. Now we're gonna try that handshake thing. So pretend that I'm the godlike announcer guy. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your finalists. And shake hands. We just got done with rehearsals and now we're gonna practice for our games. Got it? Don't flash forward, Jason Chen. Okay? Play patient. Patient game, okay? We play objective control. If the lady is back, remember we swap. Make sure we can swap in time. Don't get caught when you Don't get caught? Yeah. When we swap, don't get caught. Okay. Yeah, jungler love to go with their AD carry. Don't forget. So we win if I don't get caught. Got it, that's why. Make sure deep body with some horror. Love each other, love each other, go each other. Call each other in the games, okay? Make sure our lane can clap in other. Got it? Okay? That's ready, huh? Yeah. So far, ready? ready. Yeah. yeah. You just need to shut down the power button, that's it. Shut down the power button. Control mid priority. Make sure, okay? Priority. Make sure push mid before you do anything. <laughs> You're gonna be bad. Okay? Right. Got it? Yeah, Got yeah, it, guys? Yeah. All right, good. All right, I feel confident now. All right, All right Peter, thank you very much. Yeah. Peter, the best coach ever. I feel confident. Why don't we even need local for it? Yeah, where's the local? Okay. Let's go, TSU. Don't forget what that was. Don't get caught under the Why are you? Yeah, you were like, team, go play bad. Give to yourself yeah. confidence. Yeah. Phoenix, Let's I'm go. in. Let's go, TSU. Don't flash forward. It's in change. You're so strong. Speaking of everyone's noses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. What the hell, man? Alright, one last ride. One last ride. Let's go to school. Okay, does everyone remember everything we need to do? Alright, guys. <laughs> so. I'm actually really happy with how far we've gone. Um, when I came in, we were honestly struggling to like even make playoffs and make worlds. So overall, I'm like extremely happy that like everyone stepped it up, and we really got here as a team. If you, if you like watch all of our matches, like some players play better than others, but for the most part, <coughs> a big reason why we're here in the first place is because of our teamwork, not because like someone really hard carried. And so we all really stepped up and. Um, I actually think going into this match, like we have the upper hand. I think that if everyone just like calms down, this plays like how we practice, and you know, just be confident in what we've been doing. We're gonna win for sure. There's, there's no doubt in my mind. So uh, I believe in you guys, and I think that we're gonna win. And even if we do lose, it's really all about adapting and making sure that we fix the things we need on the next game. Yeah. So the coaching staff is gonna pay close attention to what goes wrong, and um, we're just gonna adapt as a team together. Um, and so just make sure that when we're like in between sets, everyone is like, super op open to fixes and changes. And um, you know, regardless if we win or lose, we still made worlds. So you know, the whole next month and a half, we have all the opportunity to be the best team in the world if we practice really hard and fix all the things we need, just like last year. But like going into this tournament, getting seed one is also really critically important. So. Just play and try your hardest. Don't be nervous. Um, and, you know, just do what we've been doing in scrims. And if we do that, we will win no, no matter what. If things go wrong in game, if you start losing fights or if our 1v2 fucks up, don't panic and think about it. You guys are really good at fixing shit in game when we do think about it. Like, it's a really common thing where we lose multiple fights and we fix it. Instead of losing multiple fights, the moment we lose one fight, think about what went wrong and fix it in game. Yeah, I mean, just don't be scared. Like, before, our problem was always we fall behind in gold and we just slowly lose because we try to outscale. Don't play like that. When we're losing, dodge lanes, play to your side, and catch. And wait till they make a mistake and play off our tempo. 
That's pretty much it. If we start losing, we're not going to win off of one person making a play. We're going to win off of communication about teleport, communication about priority, okay? The more we start to lose, keep communication clear and don't panic, okay? If people shut down in communication, that's how we're going to lose harder. But if you guys keep up in communication and talk about teleports, talk about where we need to be, then we're going to win. Basically, we're behind just trade objectives. It's really hard right now in this meta to extend your gold lead if the other enemy rotates well too because they're just going to catch every time, defend all the tower pushes, and then just trade towers. That's how you play this meta right now. And that's how we won against TL. We lost early game every time, but we're able to out-transition them. And so, I mean, just, just calm down. Even if the first game sloppy, it's fine. I think we have a good shot. Just, just come in, play confident, and just see what we've been doing. And don't mess up on dives. <laughs> <laughs> call out targets, call bro. Call out targets and go fucking in. <laughs> yeah, go call out targets. At the same time. Good, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Like, in bot lane, you know, same thing. If you guys are winning your matchup, call for trail, call for ganks. And don't don't feel like you're forced to make plays. Make plays as a team. Yep. Communicate everything. Everything's pretty standardized for how we play every single game now. And just, that's it. I think that I think we got this. Can I say something? What's up? For the dives, I I know it's fine to like if we all go on the same target like the last game. If we all went on Janna, she would have died. But generally in the dives, if we can just kill their AD carry and they're coming to catch, and for some reason we can't kill the rest of them, if we can kill their AD carry and get out, that means their AD carry is not getting farmed anymore or any more potential kills. So if if we can, I think it's correct to go for the AD carry. I think it's really big. Yeah. I'm actually super excited. I did just a month ago. I was like, holy shit, we're not gonna make playoffs. Holy shit, we're not gonna make worlds. Feels is gonna be hella pressure. They always choke on stage. They haven't made worlds. We're in a way better spot. Okay. Keep calm and make our plays. Do what we usually do. We don't need to do anything special. We play like we do in scrim. It's just a scrim. Just it's just a scrim, boys. Award one, two, three, and four. Go. Dude, if Double F gets his first trophy, they're gonna blame us, okay? So we're gonna need to stop it, okay? It's up to us. Exactly. Yeah. Only we can stop it. We're the good guys, they're the bad guys. guys. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 this is the last tournament that that Dyrus, no, that Dyrus is gonna play in US, okay? So we're gonna win it for Dyrus. Too, we're gonna for Dyrus. Cheers. 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 Um, cool. I think I'm just gonna take you backstage. Let you guys have a couple minutes. Um, you'll know when to start lining up. Let's go, let's go. What if they handshake us and try to throw us off the stage? Can we, can we, can we get, can we get Santorin to throw them off the stage? <laughs> I just hate having playing these easy scrims. On the red side. TSM! And Team Solomon took the semi-final series to face Counter Logic Gaming. They're in yet another fight. In the top lane, Dyrus. At Jungle, Santorin. In the mid lane, Yurtsen. At AD Carry, Wild Turtle. Support Lost Boy TSM. Once again, let's hear it for our Summer 2015 North American LCS Championship finalists. Hashtag CLG win or hashtag TSM win. Teleport coming in. Dyrus in the top side is way too low to come in on this fight. He goes down to the top side actually to double lift in the fight now with the dragon. Bjergsen's going to get hit up. They give the that to the oh. bouncer. Now it's going on to Lust Boy. The jump through. See if he oh. can help the team. That's a big Winter's spell bite on to Bjergsen. Three man shockwave. Where's the answer? Oh. TSM is not in the right position to get the attacks on the priority targets. It's CLG that's able now to push them right over in their own. Own 
Command Shockwave engage. Zion Spartan and double lift, cleaning up the crew. The janitorial duty on to Dyrus. That's gonna go over to Poe Belter. No, it's a triple kill for double lift. Start to play it consistent, and they may have the Nexus. There's no Shockwave up. There's no real way for oh. TSM to initiate, but Bjergsen Turtle is with the shot. That's one for him. He's already got a Nexus turret as well. Or double lift, I should say. Turtle now running for the fountain. Turtle goes down, double it with another one. Game one, coming up 39 minutes in. Very convincing from Counter Logic Gaming as they take out Team Solo mid in the finals. We got more games. Uh, the first game, we kind of expected them to pick the Yasuo top, but we didn't make the proper adaptation after they banned uh, out the Maokai, which was really our primary blind pick. Um, so we ended up trying that counter matchup. It wasn't too awful early game, but it just reached a point where Yasuo just becomes really dominant against Nara, and Yasuo's also a really strong team fighter. So there was a lot of trouble, especially going into pick ban for that specific game where we picked Nidalee when it was open, but we didn't really have a specific comp for it, and we didn't really have a plan for what blind we were going to do. After game one, we thought you had to change our game direction. It made us to feel really, really different game two and game three from the normal scrims. Series game one has already delivered. We had the Baron fight back and forth for two and a half minutes, which is telling me that these teams are not gating themselves through pressure situations. Uh, yeah. CLG look like they're working to make a play. Yeah. is going to beat Bjergsen in the Rome up the river unless they match up 1v1. He's going to be Mega. Howling Gale comes through. Sam, oh my gosh, Zion Spartan. Oh, you? A beautiful hop over the team, throwing Lustboy back. The focus now on to Poe Belter. Monsoon coming in from Afro, who may save Belter. Flashes out of that one alive, can still laser from the outside, and it looks like Team Solo mid dropping like flies here. Back on a Poe Belter, he may live, but Jackson. no, he goes down to the riptide of Dyrus. Everybody is giving their last ounce in this fight, and Team Solo mid actually comes out on top, dipping, dodging, and diving around the auto attacks. The skill shots, Bjergsen may have to give up the final fight, but four are down to the two of TSM. As well, if there is a resulting fight, that's going to be the ulti. There's the last breath. Oh, oh, that was Absolutely incredible from Zion Spartan. Beautiful plays across the board. His turret may go down. He actually may be able to get a nice wallop here right inside the turret range. He is just playing with fire here right comes now. By himself on the back line and is forced to flash out. Oh. That's going to be a reset. Here comes double lift. Will they be able to get in? Zanya's down. Bjergsen, Poe Belter, 1v1. Chaos Storm reigns on that parade. It was a tough fight to win for Bjergsen. And Poe Belter comes out on top. Now for Turtle. He dashes the zap. And it looks like it's going to be a follow-up from McSmithy. They're going for the kill. Oh, what a bold they call by it. CLG. They got Turtle. There it is. Do they take Zion? No, they don't. That's the ace for Counter Logic Game. Boy, that's going to be the game. That Double is disengage. absolutely going to be the game. Such a good game for CLG here. 27 to 15, counter. <laughs> So the two things that went wrong that game was the catch made us behind 3k early game. I don't want you guys to ever catch again. And the second thing is just focus fire. We did not target the right targets. We didn't go after Jinx. We, we used ults on Dragas. We used flash Ws on Janna as we, we, we just didn't focus fire the right targets. Yeah, I, I wasted one and ult on Dragas and the other ones I missed. Our catch time, bot made mid lose pressure and die. Yeah. yeah. And if we had called the Nara, that would be okay. What? We just need it. We should call the Nara. No, we got like, we the Nara's not going to go victory. Yeah, I want you guys to play like I, I set up in every scrim. I set up the lanes to be in gank mid at level three or four. But this game, Centauri was so far. So like the whole way I set up the way was really bad for me, and then they just got a three man gank. I think, I think uh, you should just keep playing like you always do, and not listen to us when we go for the catch ball. Because I was just bad. We're not going to do it anymore. Doesn't in practice, matter. we've never done that ever. We've never called like that ever. Yeah, not like that. That's why I thought it was weird. But I think guys, well, we should flip. Let me let me finish. Everything is about focus fire with our comps. That's our biggest weakness right now. And using our abilities the wrong way. Because yeah. Nautilus, all he does is engage, like the ult to target. Like, if we don't target right and we don't ult right targets, then we, there's no, it doesn't matter what we pick. But we can, we can, if we're killing the front line, we can still use Nautilus ult to stop the AD from doing damage and then kill the front line. We don't have to die. Yeah, we could have hit Nautilus. the front line. But then just save ult then. Don't use it all. Yeah, I'll save my ult. Don't I'll, ult nev I'll never fight. use it on tanks. It was just I misclicked that one time. 
Okay. Also, if you use it on the back line, it goes through the tanks. It so wasn't knocked the up. champion that was my, my play. They just have to back when it's also, your ult and then we kill front line. It's also, like, everyone needs to be on the same page of fighting on one side. Everyone needed to recognize that Gragos was super low there. Jinx was, if you guys one shot Jinx, like if you flash ult to Jinx, he would have died. And we were just one there. Like, this match, obviously we all want to win. But at the end of the day, we really do this. Just, I want us to play like how we've been playing in scrim. We have not been playing like that. Yeah. We've given them two free wins. Yeah. Just focus on the play and be calm and just play. Who cares? It's like, we're already on two. It doesn't matter. Like, if we win, then we'll focus on the next game. One game at a time. Focus on your play. This has been already an amazing series. An explosive 39 kill plus second game of the series as we go into game three and possibly that match point for Counter Logic Gaming. And he get out of it the second time. The arrow hits this time, however, and now they're on to Bjergsen. He tried to cover. Oh! Up, dangle that carrot to the entire team. This might be a bad pinch for Counter Logic Gaming. If Bjergsen can get back in, he goes in for Smithy, but gets taken down immediately with that time winder. They're going to start trading kills back and forth while Turtle in a bad spot. Double if may be able to clean up a few more before a Kathy and surprise Ooh. and he does get one a double kill for turtle in his death and CLG come up with the ace at 20 minutes it was going his way and he has to back off Dyrus now for the peel but he goes to the front Pearson called for that they wanted the last breath Zion's part is able to hit it double it stays alive with the bloodthirster build Less boy in the middle the monsoon goes off but it's all he's got for the team TSM is now all for themselves he does over the wall, yes! Another kill! Side of CLG, and the physical damage dealers of Yasuo and Kogma on TSM's side are not even close to Last Whisper. Turtle no gets in! Got way! Him. Backing right in the middle around Baron. They had the war, but there was still vision. And it looks like Santora may go down next. Bjergsen will definitely follow! CLG is absolutely cleaning up in the middle of the rift right now. Team Solo mid gets caught backing. He knows he goes down. He's letting the team fight. Just tanking the turret completely, knowing Counter Logic There's Gaming Bjergsen. is stronger. The double oh, no. kill, the triple kill now coming in for Poe Belter. Double is going to clean one up. 40 seconds on the clock, boys. And the faithful shall be rewarded. CLG take the inhibitor. They're going to take the Nexus turrets. Take a trip to Worlds! This is gonna be it! Counter Logic Gaming fighting every season since there has been one and now taking down Team Solo Mid at the to be your 2015 Summer Split Champions! We should talk as a team before everyone splits up. Yeah. Overall, I do think that, um, I think a big reason why we lost was due to us not preparing enough for the drafts and being able to adapt. Another major part was really just our team play and our individual play. It wasn't, it wasn't how like it was on scrims. And ultimately, I felt like mm, when I came in during the middle of the split up till now, I still think that we did a really good job coming into the finals, even though we lost to CLG. Um, for the most part, really, we just have to spend the next month like working really hard to see how well we can do at Worlds. I think that we just have to just focus on what's next. I mean, how do you guys feel about the matches and what do you guys think about it? Played really bad, we didn't know what to do at various parts of the games. That's basically how it was. Well, me too, it was pretty bad. 
pictures were bad in first game, but I think other games were fine. And then we like we weren't playing off our power spikes like to our comps. Yeah, like when we had We were constantly on the back foot where I had to be grouped instead of pushing yeah. on side lanes. And then scrims we always had tempos, so I could just be in side lanes. These games I felt like I was constantly forced to group because we were behind. And I never really found openings to be in the side lane. Because every time I went to side lane they just killed us on the other side. I think the first game we lost hundred percent because of those picks. The second game we lost because of those play. And the third game we lost because of those play. We can go over and review the game as a team. But for, for the most part, like, you know, our weaknesses in scrims really showed. Like we played really well in scrims, but we were never consistent. I feel like a major part of our team is complacency. And when we work on something really hard, players tend to just forget about it, and so we always have to relearn things. First game was coaching staff's fault, 100% for picks. And third game, really, it was just play like, you guys went to the third game really tilted. Um, I feel like that's something that we definitely need to work on is we need to keep our composure and we need to be able to adapt. Even when we're down games, we can't tilt. Everyone really underperformed. That the last game, we 100% could have won that game with that comp. I we got a huge advantage at red and we didn't abuse them. We could have triple buffed and we could have triple buffed them. We could have went to blue. Um, Centaur, you're up like 10 CS on like two levels, but you didn't go in this jungle. Everyone was like, we weren't playing to win the last game. Like the last game we went into, we've already given up. So that's like that's like a mindset we have to change because when we're playing a best of five. We never gave up. And we've never been in a situation where, where we've been like one game to losing before, but you know, we we gave up. We weren't we didn't the last game we didn't play like we played in scrims. You guys would try to make plays, but you guys just went back to our old style before I came in. Um, you guys just played the farm, played really reactionary, and then after like five minutes you guys decided to go top and you guys got that tower. We guys could have done that a long time ago. So that's that's something we definitely need to work on. I mean, going into Korea, um, we need to work really hard on not making the same mistakes over and over and over. Because that actually really hurts our practice. I think we can do it. I think we can go in to Worlds, work really hard, and, you know, really, really upset teams at Worlds. And it really fucking sucks that we lost. I didn't think that we were gonna lose as badly as we did. I, in fact, I thought that it would have been like an intense matchup because CLG was really good this year and then we made it farther than we thought we could. And then we got really good again. And when we went on stage, we just played really bad. The play was bad, the prep was bad, like everything about it was just really bad compared to like how we usually play and do things. And after the realization of losing, it doesn't always turn out the way that you expect it to be. I mean, losing to CLG, they're our biggest rival, and they are the one team that if you lose to, like, it is heartbreaking. Um, for a lot of the players and a lot of the management on TSM, CLG, losing to CLG is something very personal. Like, people can say it's business, um, I mean, we all have to say the better team won, and CLG was the better team that day. There's no excuses. It's just, it really sucks to lose to CLG. Heading forward, I still feel like we're a really strong team, and our mechanics are only getting better, our um, knowledge is only getting better, and when we head up to Worlds, I feel like we're going to be a really strong team now when we are Korea streaming the best teams in the world. So I definitely, like, I'm still, I've, Myself, I feel really happy, like the way we've been practicing so far, and I'm sure if we all put all our time and effort into the next 40 days of screaming, then we're gonna be a really solid team at the Worlds.